guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to show you how to do a very inexpensive tablescape for any kind of holiday or any party that you're throwing. Sometimes you're given the responsibility, like I know for my church a lot of times we'll have um, parties or activities where I've been given the responsibility to throw that party or whatever and so I had to come up with really creative ways to throw those parties without spending any money and without ma with making people feel like some effort was put into it. So I got a little bit creative and we're hosting Thanksgiving dinner this year. We've got 26 people coming to our home and not wanting to spend a lot of money on tablescapes, I wanted to make the event still special for those who are coming to our home. So I got creative and I came up with this tablescape that you see behind me. So I wanted to show you these couple of tricks that I used so that you two can create nice tablescapes and pretty settings for whatever party that you're holding because this kind of setting can translate for a lot of different parties. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so um, Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to show you exactly how I put this together because when I went to record this video, uh, I thought I had recorded the whole thing, but it turns out that my camera wasn't working. So now that it's finished, I'm gonna just try to walk you through a little bit of the steps. So the bottom layer here is just a white piece of butcher paper, and I purchased that at my local um, school supply store, and they sell it for like 40 cents a yard. Um, one banquet size table like the one here holds eight people, and or seats eight people, and um, so it's about three yards worth of paper. And at about 40 cents a yard, you're in it for like about a buck and a half to um, put the table paper down. For any holiday, you can choose any color that you want, which is kind of fun. If you're doing Valentine's or the 4th of July or whatever it is, then you can choose what color you want because most school supply stores will carry an array of colors. So that's the first step. The second thing that I did was this table runner down the center. Now, I didn't wanna spend a lot of money buying burlap or something really cute and fun, although that would have been cute and fun. I didn't have those resources. So instead, I used a brown paper bag from a grocery store, and I'll show you really quick. So this is a brown paper bag and you just get it at your local grocery store and you may want to kind of save them up over the course of several shopping trips. Um, my grocery store allows me just to take a little stack with me so I didn't have to save them over and over again. Anyway, so you get your grocery bag and when you open it up like this, okay, so you're gonna cut out the bottom piece and cut down one side. And by doing that, it's gonna create this long piece that you can then tape down on your table. And it creates kind of a nice contrast of color and it just looks really pretty. Um, and if it's like a kid's table, then they can draw on it. We're celebrating Thanksgiving, so I'm gonna have people write down the things that they're thankful for on the actual paper. So it serves two purposes and it's also very pretty. Okay, so that's the second thing. Um, then I went and I went to my silhouette and I cut out leaves and in all, three different colors, yellow, orange, and red. So they're just these leaves that here are here, and um, I'm gonna have pens on the table as well so they can write the, what they're thankful for on the leaf. So they can write it on the table mat or on the paper here, or they can write it on the leaf here, and then you can create um, those memories of the things that they're thankful for for this particular activity. What do you need, babe? Okay, sorry about that. So, um, as I was talking about, you can cut out all the different shapes depending on what holiday that you are celebrating or that you're decorating for. And you can either have people write on them or not. It doesn't matter, you know, that's just kind of an added activity if you choose, but not required. It's mostly just fun to look at those things. Okay, so to divide up some color, I chose different kinds of plates. Um, so we're having Thanksgiving obviously, so these are large plates and in the center of the plate I just found a cute napkin that says give thanks again depending on what activity or what um, Party that you're throwing will depend on the theme for that But just some colored plates and then in addition to that I got these gold plates And that's what the bread will go on so that it just kind of like differentiates the table a little bit in the tablescape Just so it looks kind of fun now this green centerpiece that you see in the center here, this is um, some foliage that I got from the yard out front. Um, so it is real, but I just cut it from the, the yard. You can also get some stuff at like a craft store. You can get um, some long runners um, or anything from the nature is always really great depending on the season that you're throwing the party. You may be able to find some good things in nature. And I obviously included some pumpkins here 
and some candles in the back that you can kind of see, just to kind of break up the sizes that are on the table. I like to do my tables with low centerpieces so that people can still converse between each other at the table, instead of having large floral centerpieces where people feel like they have to duck their head around in order to have a conversation. So I enjoy doing that, but it's, you know, just kind of a pers personal preference. Anyway, it turned out so cute, and the whole table, including these, you know, the plates I paid about $2 at Walmart for, and the napkins, uh, you know, probably 80 cents or something. So for one table, you're looking at about less than $5 to decorate one table. And of course, if you're doing many tables, then sometimes, you know, the price doesn't necessarily go up $5 per table, because you just get the materials in bulk, but like $1.50 for the white paper underneath, and then, and then it was really just the utensils on top of that that I had to pay for. So really inexpensive and the table looks really pretty and it's great for our Thanksgiving feast. So hopefully you are encouraged by this and that you've gotten some ideas of how you can make a beautiful tablescape for whatever activity or party that you're planning to throw. And, and people will be impressed and you will feel good and it'll just create great memories for everybody who is in attendance. So hopefully you guys liked this video. Hit the thumbs up button below if you did like it and leave a comment if you have any questions about something that I didn't explain very good or some ideas for different holidays. I've always got different ideas in my head and make sure that you subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this. Have a good one guys. Mm -hmm.